Hey, it's Trish, and this is Fold of the Week, a show where I share powerful print marketing ideas to help you achieve success on any budget. This week, I wanted to show how a simple broadside format can be used really effectively for mail. I have three samples and two format variations to show you, so let's take a closer look. There's something really nice about this eight page broadside self mailer from Casper. Their brand look is very zen, so it's really clean and there's a luxury of space in the layout. When you open it up all the way, there are four quadrants of content and even a little crossword puzzle for fun, special offer at the bottom. I just really like the feeling and the softness of the paper and the imagery and how the opening experience feels dramatic. This is a four panel design, so it easily could have been a roll fold, a closed gate or a double parallel, but the experience of the broadside is really refreshing. Same format, different size and approach. This mailer for a high-end clothing store in Chicago keeps the typography light and saves the drama for the final poster spread. There's a quiet confidence about this approach. Now let's change the base format to a trifold and use the same broadside folding technique. Still self-mailing, but with two more panels to divide the content. They chose to make the poster spread an actual poster design, which is nice. This could have been just a trifold self-mailer because all of the marketing content is on the trifold panels, but I like how they made it a broadside instead and gave people a poster for fun. I could easily see this format used for campus maps, sports programs, art exhibits and events, consumer products like these examples, and lots of other verticals. Another benefit of this format is that you really have to use a lighter sheet or it gets too bulky, and with the lighter sheet, you don't need to score, so it's just a simple machine fold and tab to finish. A very special thanks to the creators of the three samples featured in this episode. If you've ever been inspired by something you've seen on the show, please consider folding it forward and sharing your work too. If you're looking for more ideas, downloads, and templates, visit foldfactory.com. And remember, think finishing at the beginning. I'll see you next week. Bye.